Hello, I'm Sabina Pan, CPA. I advocate Less Texas and More Profit. Today, I'd like to talk about make the most of your health saving account. Harvest the power of HSA as part of your retirement saving with high deductible health plan. If you're looking for one of the best tax deals around, look no further than a health saving account, HSA, for its trifecta of benefits. Contributions are tax deductible, growth is tax free, and withdrawal for qualified medical expenses are not taxable. To use an HSA, you must be enrolled in a qualifying high deductible health insurance plan. Question number one How HSA integrate with your retirement savings plan? HSA saving could be especially valuable in retirement. Because a lot of times it's the retirement years when healthcare costs will be the greatest. A recent report from Fidelity estimates a healthy 65 year old couple retiring this year would need $275,000 to cover their healthcare costs in retirement. Below are some of the best practices when you have decided on a health saving account. First is to start by age 50 at the bare minimum. If you haven't been able to get an early start, age 50 is a good point to begin focusing on using your health saving account for retirement saving. That's because most likely you are in your peak earning years and past the juggling of big family expenses such as cost of college tuition. But if you can contribute to an health saving account prior to that, do so by all means. Second thing to do is to maximize contributions. If you're married, split your health saving account saving into two accounts with money in both your name and your spouse's. You will still be limited to the maximum annual family contribution currently at 6750 but then each spouse can make an annual $1,000 catch-up contribution once they reach age 55. Workers who have access to an health saving account as well as a 401k may want to strategize which account they focus on first. Given that triple tax advantages of health saving account, in many cases, it makes sense to set aside just enough in your 401k to get the full match and then fund your HSA fully before circling back to top off your 401k. Third thing to do is to invest consistently. Health saving account contribution often default into a money market, but funds intended as long-term retirement saving should be invested as such. Compare investment options and fees at different providers. You can choose whatever provider you want, although if your employer provides a match, you may only do so with its preferred partner. A small but growing number of consumers are investing their HSA. As of mid-2017, HSA held $6.8 billion in investment assets, representing about 16% of all HSA's assets, according to the study. The average investment account holder has a balance of $15,000, including both deposit and investment account. The fourth thing to do is to avoid dipping into savings, the tough part. If you can pay for all current health expenditure out of pocket in order to not spend a nickel out of that HSA, that gives you a balance to roll over for future years and invest. Remember, save those expenditures receipt. There's no requirement that you claim medical expenses in the year they occur. You can make a tax-free withdrawal even years later in retirement. By one estimate, a couple putting aside the current annual maximum each year from age 50 to 65 and investing those funds could amass nearly $230,000 more for retirement. A lot of time is the retirement year when healthcare costs were the greatest. So avoiding dipping into saving earlier would translate into more assets when you need them the most. You have to mind your retirement decision. Under current rules, once you enroll in Medicare, you can no longer fund your health saving account. Keep that in mind as you approach age 65. Even if you're still working, you may be required to sign up for Medicare with your employer's plan as secondary coverage depending on the size of your employer and the kind of health plan you are on. 
claiming social security also by default en enrolls you in Medicare Part A. So delay those enrollment if you can, or at least plan your HSA contributions accordingly. Question number two, what happens if you are no longer employed? Unlike flexible spending account, the money in your HSA remains yours even after you lose or leave your job. So you don't need to rush to the eye doctor or dentist to drain the account before your job is terminated. You can usually keep that money in your former employer's HSA, or you can roll it over to another HSA administrator without having to pay taxes on the move. A lot like an IRA rolled over, but ask first about any transfer fee. The money can then continue to grow in the account and can be used tax-free for future medical expenses in any year, even if you no longer have a high deductible health insurance policy. If you decline or are not eligible for COBRA but will or have secure health insurance through the health insurance marketplace, for example, you can make premium payments through an HSA if you are receiving unemployment insurance. Also, if you were unable to fund your HSA by July 15, 2020, a one-time transfer is permitted from an IRA to an HSA. If the withdrawal is used for health insurance premiums such as COBRA coverage and or if you are receiving unemployment benefit, you can effectively turn what would have been taxable IRA withdrawal dollars into an untaxable HSA withdrawal. So that's the special 2020 rule. Question three, what do you need to know about the 2020 rule? As we discussed earlier, you may contribute to uh, HSA only if you have a high deductible health plan, generally a health plan including a marketplace plan that only covers preventive service before the deductible. For the plan year 2020, the minimum deductible for a high deductible health plan is $1,400 for an individual and $2,800 for a family. When you view plans in the marketplace, you can see if, if they are HSA eligible. If you have a high deductible health plan, you can contribute up to $3,550 for self-only coverage and up to $7,100 for family coverage into an HSA. HSA funds roll over year to year if you don't spend them. Some health insurance companies offer HSA for their high deductible health plans. Check with your company. You can also open an HSA through some banks and other financial institutions. If you find this video useful, please click on like, subscribe, and forward to those who may also benefit from this tutorial. Please also head to basecpaplus.com to sign up for our email newsletter full of tips for less taxes and more profits. Until next time, God bless.